This video is instruction on citing sources in a research paper. Uh, this first part goes over reasons for citing sources. I think this is important to understand because many people, like yourself, regard citations as simply a bother, but really it is a way to boast about what you have done. So here are the reasons that we cite sources. You need to show your reader that you've done research. Since this is a research paper, the way to show you've done research is by citing your sources. Uh, if you are responsible, it's one of our writer principles, uh, you need to give credit to other people for work that they did that you are using. Uh, you want to avoid plagiarism. I hope you would want to do that anyway. If you quote somebody and don't give them credit, you are plagiarizing. If plagiarism is noted on any paper, it's an automatic zero. Uh, it will also, and this is one that I think a lot of people forget, will allow the reader of your paper to track down sources you use and read on further. If, they, if you say something that is interesting, which is not beyond reason, uh, they may want to follow up and read more about it, and they would want to use your sources to do that. So that's why it's important to follow the citation, to follow citations properly. Now, um, uh, so what does citing mean? Uh, it means that you're showing within the body of your text that you took words, ideas, figures, images, etc. from somewhere else. Citations are a short way to uniquely identify a published work, like a book, article, chapter, or website, and they are found in bibliographies, and in your case, works cited, pages, reference lists, etc. Citations consist of standard elements and contain all the information necessary to track down and identify the publication, authors' names, titles, when they were published, page numbers, if it is a print source. If you're using web sources, and you're probably going to use a lot of web sources, you will not have page numbers to use, uh, and volumes, issue numbers, etc. for articles. All of that goes into a citation. Now, it, uh, citations might look different depending on what is being cited. So, for example, you would cite a magazine article different than a book by one author or a web page. So you need to choose the appropriate style. We are going to use the MLA style here, and you will follow that. What do you need to cite? And uh, this is very important. Facts, figures, ideas, or other information that is not common knowledge. So if you, under the heading of ideas, if you paraphrase somebody's idea, then you must give them credit for it, even if it is not in quotations. That is, if you have taken somebody's idea and uh, paraphrased it, put it in your own words, you still need to cite that. Um, certainly, exact language that another person uses, a quotation, if you're taking it word for word out of an article, uh, that needs to be cited. Publications that you cite are books, book chapters, articles, web pages. Uh, those you may use any of those. I'm not sure you're going to do any theses. Uh, a thesis is a paper done by typically a college student try, uh, trying to uh, get an advanced degree, and I seriously doubt we'll run across any. But we may, we may. Uh, another person's exact words should be quoted and cited to show proper credit. When in doubt, be safe, cite your source. Uh, so let us move on here. Uh, your teacher is going to hand to you now uh, a piece of paper that begins, how does one complete a citation? And on that is a uh, work cited page, an example of it. And there are some things I want you to notice here. Uh, number one, uh, you're only using on a works cited page those uh, works that you actually are citing in your paper. So if you are doing a paper on, let's say, gun control, and you've read a book about gun control, but you're not using anything from that book, that will not appear on your works cited page because you're not citing it. Uh, that's number one. Number two, 
Notice that each citation begins at the left margin uh, and every line after that is indented. This is called hanging indentation. Uh, this one here is a good example. Notice that there are two indented lines. Um, number three, there are no additional spaces between works. So we don't see an additional space between the first and the second, between the second and the third. They, it's equal spacing throughout the document. Now as far as your grade goes, in order to get full credit for your work cited page and your internal citations, it must be letter perfect. The reason uh, I am saying letter perfect here is that there is not a lot of thought process that goes through this. You will have guides on how to cite sources, and if you follow those guides, which anybody can do, you should get them absolutely perfect. So this is what comes at the end of your paper, and it tells the person reading your paper that these are the sources you have cited. Now within the paper, we have what are called internal citations, and now your teacher is going to hand to you um, a sample of a research paper using those sources. Um, and what I would like you to do now is to take out a pen or a highlight or, so, or something and uh, underline, highlight, circle, whatever, uh, three words here. I'm going to make this bigger on the board so you can see it. Um, what we're looking, what I want you to underline or highlight is Dean 5, and it looks like that is on the third line. Uh, Dean 7, which is uh, the last third of the paper, and an inconvenient, which is uh, uh, two lines after Dean 7. These are all, all three of these are internal citations. Now, your teacher may pause it now, um, and I'm going to go on. Uh, notice that the internal citations are in parentheses. Okay, notice there's a parenthesis before and after. Notice that the citation begins with the first word of the citation on the works cited page and is followed by a page number if available. So if we look at Dean 5 and then if you go back to uh, your works cited document, you'll find Dean Cornelia Executive on a Mission. That is the source, and it is on page five. Um, now, uh, if we go to Dean Seven, same source, but it's on page seven. If we go down to an inconvenient, notice that there is no author. So it's not by author's name. It is by the first important word in the uh, uh, on the work cited page, and in this case, the most important word, the first important word is inconvenient. It does begin with an and, uh, so that is how the source is cited there. Notice there is no page number, so it's either a web source or a movie or something of that uh, uh, that type. And uh, now you are going to be given some guides and some samples of literature and you're going to be asked to put together a works cited page, and then after that, uh, we'll do some internal citations with them.